Scikit-learn tip number 49. You can tune two or more models using the same grid search. Okay, before I talk about how to do this, let's step back and talk about grid search, how you normally use grid search, and why you might want to tune multiple models in the same grid search. Grid search is primarily used for tuning the hyperparameters of a model. You define what values you want to try for each parameter, and it cross-validates every possible combination of those parameters so that you can see which combination performs best. You can pass just a model to grid search, or even better, you can pass a pipeline to grid search. I demonstrated this in tip 16, but in brief, passing a pipeline to grid search allows you to tune the transformers and the model simultaneously, which can result in even better performance. In this tip, we're going to take this one step further. A pipeline can only contain a single model, so normally, if you want to try multiple models, you create multiple pipelines and then tune them separately. But it turns out that you can tune multiple models in the same grid search without creating multiple pipelines, and I'll show you how. Here are the three high-level steps, and then I'll walk you through the code. First, you create multiple parameter dictionaries. Second, you specify the model within each dictionary. And third, you put the dictionaries in a list. Let's take a look at the actual code. First, I've set up a column transformer, and this will become the first pipeline step. Next, I'm creating two models. CLF1 is a logistic regression model, and CLF2 is a random forests model. Each of these models will take a turn as the second pipeline step. Next, I'll create a two-step pipeline. The first step is the column transformer, and the second step is CLF1, but that's really just a placeholder, as you'll see below. Then we create a parameter dictionary specifically for CLF1, which is logistic regression. We're going to tune one parameter from the preprocessor step, namely the n-gram range parameter of count vectorizer, and two logistic regression parameters, namely penalty and C. If you've tuned a pipeline with grid search before, all of the code so far should look familiar. But this last line should look unfamiliar, and it's the key to this tip. We add one more entry to the dictionary to indicate that the classifier we want to use with this parameter set is logistic regression. Notice that this is a model object, not a string, and also notice that we put it in brackets to make it a list. This might seem strange, but it will make more sense in a minute. Next, we'll create a second parameter dictionary for CLF2, which is random forests. We'll tune one parameter from the preprocessor step and two random forest parameters, namely n estimators and min samples leaf. Just like above, we'll add one more entry to the dictionary to indicate that the classifier we want to use with this parameter set is random forests. During the grid search, this will override the logistic regression classifier we specified when creating the pipeline. Next, we'll create a list that includes both of these parameter sets. Finally, we pass the pipeline and the params list to grid search. When we run the search, it will first try every combination of parameters from params 1 with the logistic regression model, and then it will try every combination of parameters from params 2 with the random forests model. By checking best params, we can see that the best combination was a logistic regression model with C equal to 10, penalty equal to L1, and n-gram range equal to 1, 2. In the end, it's up to you to decide whether it makes more sense to tune all of your models using the same grid search as I've shown you in this tip, or to use a separate pipeline for each model with its own grid search.